people don't realize that a lot of what we're not forgiving is what we're embodying. We have to carry it somewhere. So we, we create an icon out of it. And oftentimes that's what the reason for the pain teacher showing up is to say, hey, hey, look here. And the forgiveness is not about condoning the actions. Forgiveness isn't about forgetting. It's, it's really accepting what has transpired and choosing to move forward. As we embark on this journey of forgiveness, we shed the weight of these negative emotions that really have burdened us and that take a toll on our bodies and minds and spirits, as we're saying, that, that are fostering that anxiety, that depression, that stress, that pain. And so in their absence, suddenly there's a new space, a spiritual path that's uh, unencumbered by that baggage. As we forgive and let go of the past, we step into a more of an observer role. And again, something you were speaking to earlier about, you know, equanimity and being equanimous, not heavily charged one way or the other, but, but you know, as, as an observer. You know, we're on this earthly journey, you know, with a, with a purpose. But forgiveness is not about helpless acceptance and surrendering to defeat and being weak or evading the cost of justice. It's about how we hold that profound hurt in our heart and then you know how do we work to repair it and prevent its repetition you know that tibetan put a story about the two monks who meet years after being released from prison where they were tortured and the first book asks you know have you forgiven them i will never forgive them ever well they still have you in prison don't they <laughs>